So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my another video. And today video is about uh, registration in New Zealand as a pharmacist. So if you are overseas pharmacist and you are looking to register in New Zealand, so I am going to discuss here it is an information for you. So my name is Dr. Akram. I am a pharmacist lecturer in Australia. So I always make video for you if you want to migrate to Australia or New Zealand and any other country. So please like and subscribe my videos so I can make videos for you. Now we are going to start here in New Zealand. So basically earlier, if you know that the, uh, the, the process are completed by the Australian Pharmacy Council, so Australia and New Zealand follow the similar concept of the, the same process basically. But few years back, the New Zealand changed their, uh, and they make their own Pharmacy Council. So we are going to discuss here this is the latest information available uh, to register as a pharmacist in New Zealand. So there are the four routes and which one is suitable for you you have to go for that first to that if you are a, uh, if you are study in new zealand and australia to show you directly you can register as a pharmacist whether you are you did your b form or m form in australia or new zealand so directly you can register as a pharmacist there no need to write any exam for for you and um, if you are already a registered pharmacist in australia for example you are a overseas pharmacist then you register in australia and now you want to practice in New Zealand again you can um, work in New Zealand but there is a uh, condition is called uh, TTMRA means the, the Trans uh, Tasman Mutual Recognition Ag uh, Agreement route I mean this is a you know agreement between the New Zealand and Australia in the, those two countries so the citizens and, and migrants they can uh, work and live in both uh, of these countries you know so if you are registered pharmacist in New Zealand still you can migrate to New Zealand uh, so um, no need to write any exam for you to uh, migrate to New Zealand. And third is the route is that are you currently registered pharmacist in Canada, Ireland, UK and USA. So there is a route called recognized equivalent qualification route REQR then you have to go for this route but most of you are watching my video you are um, not any of these options so these are four options for you so do you hold an approved pharmacy degree um, that not in the uh, uh, I mean I, I mean uh, if you are complete your degree basically from India Pakistan or any other country that's not recognized by uh, uh, this New Zealand Pharmacy Council then you uh, have to go there's a four step process for you so you have to follow uh, this route this is a uh, basically earlier about the similar thing you know in, in Australia as I told you but in New Zealand there's a little bit difference in, in, in Australia so the first step in New Zealand is called a submit application for initial consideration you know so initial consideration means the skill assessment basically uh, you have to uh, go for a skill assessment for this this is the call is this for a um, initial consideration means you have to send your degree and your uh, 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 degree and your uh, your mark sheet or you know all those documents you have to send and, and additionally you also you have to check basically you are um, eligible to register a pharmacist so there is a three conditions main here to uh, be eligible to be become pharmacist in New Zealand. First that, are you registered pharmacist? You have to say yes. Means registered pharmacy meet in your country. So whether you complete your B form or farm, farm D, you are registered pharmacy in your country, so you are eligible, first point. Then uh, second point, you at least, you complete your degree four year after 2006. 2006 onwards, they change the regulation in New Zealand and Australia. So your degree must be a four year. But if you complete 2006 before that your degree, it might be a three year also they consider as a pharmacist. So the first you register registered pharmacy in your country, secondly you have at least four year pharmacy degree. And third, very important here, have you worked as a registered pharmacist in a clinical setting within a community or a hospital pharmacy uh, for at least 12 months within, मतलब यह है कि in the last five years, you must work as a community pharmacist or either as a hospital pharmacist at least for 12 months. So, 5 साल के अंदर आपने अगर एक साल का experience है working in community pharmacy or in the hospital pharmacy, then you are eligible to apply for New Zealand as a registered pharmacist. So, first, a four year bachelor degree होने चाहिए, आप registration होने चाहिए आपके country में और एक साल का आपको experience होने चाहिए community या hospital pharmacy में, so you are eligible to live and work in New Zealand as a pharmacist. So, now we will see 
the number two step the first step the initial uh, assessment and this is the, the criteria for for this so number two basically exam yeah. CAS exam is for you same in Australia and New Zealand so basically CAS is very very easy and we provide basically the coaching for uh, CAS so no need to worry wherever you are in online coaching um, um, uh, you can study wherever uh, you know online you have the mobile phone you have the laptop or desktop so you can study with us for your CAS preparation so this is step we will come complete and you can pass this is like same for the Australia so this is a 50% passing mark the important here in caps in New Zealand that two attempt only they will give you um, in in Australia in the in the case in Australia that there will be multiple attempt you can take but in New Zealand only two attempt but third attempt you can request them uh, if you personally feel if you have some problem this and that you can might be they can give you a third chance but mostly there is a two chance only to register as a pharmacist in uh, um, in New Zealand so uh, basically CAPS exam be provided so no need to worry about it you, you definitely you will pass if you want to register in uh, New Zealand as well so next is the uh, next exam you have to pass the New Zealand pharmacy registration uh, exam then after that you have to go for one year internship this is a step four and then you can be uh, become a registered pharmacist in New Zealand so these are the four steps and if you have any question please leave the comment below so i will reply and uh, yeah i will also explore some other things in my next video uh, uh, please leave a comment below so i will uh, cover in my next video if you have any questions and um thank you for watching this video